What's up, football fans? Kevin Smith back with you with another call sheet breakdown. Today we're doing one play on University of Iowa defensive back Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene, interesting prospect, a little bit of a divided opinion on him as far as scouts go. Can he play corner in the NFL? Is he a little bit more of a strong safety? He seems to be a guy who's a little scheme specific, going to fit much better as a corner in a zone heavy scheme, maybe like Vic Fangio in Philly, then in a man heavy scheme like the Pittsburgh Steelers play. So fascinating to see where Cooper DeGene winds up. One thing that you can say about him, man, he was an incredibly productive college player, 2023 first team All-American, seven career interceptions, four of those returned for touchdowns. He was also a really dangerous punt returner, had over a 13-yard punt return average, so he provides a lot of value on special teams as well. So let's take a look at what best personifies Cooper DeGene's game as a defensive back. Okay, so here's Cooper DeGene playing corner at Iowa. He is down to the bottom of the screen here. You see him located right there, number three. And they're playing against the University of Kentucky here. Kentucky's in a, just a two-by-two, 11-personnel two set. And all, all Kentucky's going to do here is they're going to run some pretty simple hitch, hitch. And then this slot receiver, he's got to win inside and then be able to hit the open area between the backer and the safety on a quick little slant. There's going to be a million problems here for Kentucky on this play that are predominantly going to stem from the slot receiver. So we're, we'll focus on the route first, and then we'll look at Cooper DeJean. All right, so look at what they do here uh, in this route, right? You got a problem almost immediately for Kentucky. The quarterback's eyes are here. And look at his slot receiver. His slot receiver's got to win inside, but the alley defender is going to reroute him outside, so he's got to go around to get back in on the slant. And by the time he does that, this near safety has picked up the route. So what you're going to see instead is watch the quarterback. His eyes are going to go and come back to the other side of the field, right? His Again, his receiver's gotten rerouted up here, and now that safety's able to jump it. So look at his head. He's now working back to this hitch. The problem is, look at Cooper DeGene right here, right? Here he is. He, he's playing quarters coverage. So all four of these guys across for uh, Iowa, right? One, here, we'll, we'll pinpoint them. One, two, three, four. These guys are in quarters coverage. They're dividing the field into four deep quarters. And then you hear you got these two underneath defenders that are trying to disrupt any uh, underneath crossing routes, hitch routes, et cetera. But by being able to play quarters coverage allows Cooper DeGene to keep his eyes on the QB. And you can see right here, as the quarterback turns his attention to the hitch route, uh, Cooper DeGene's got him eyed up. He's got him sighted up. And he's going to break on this throw before the ball's even out of the quarterback's hands. I'll let it play through, and then we'll come back and stop it. Boom, pick six. We'll run it again here. Watch him. Watch, watch how quickly he diagnoses and starts to break. He is going to be gone. He's breaking right now. He's out of his break. And look at the look at the quarterback. The ball's not even out of his hands yet. So what does that tell us about Cooper DeGene? He's got really good anticipation anticip, anticipation skills. I almost said anticipation. Anticipation skills. And again, this is bad quarterback play, and you're not going to see a ton of this in the NFL, but it does show us that uh, Cooper DeGene's instincts are really good and that He's really well suited to be able to play in zone coverages where he can keep the play in front of him and read and diagnose. Here's another look at how good he can be in zone coverage. This is Iowa against Purdue. Purdue here in a two by two spread set. They're going to run just you know, a couple of simple hitches here and then the old Hank concept up to the top of the screen, curl flat. So you get the curl here. I'm sorry, the flat there, and you get the curl here. That's DeGene circled in red up to the top of the screen. I was really playing a cover three robber look here, right? So what does that mean? That means that they're going to take their deep corners, right? And they're going to drop them back to be deep third defenders. This safety is going to work to the middle of the field. So all three of these guys have a deep third responsibility. One, two, and three. Meanwhile, this backer's coming on a blitz, and they're going to take the safety now and drop him down like a robber into the middle of the field. Here's your, here's your underneath defenders. So they're going to play three under, three deep, cover three, against the Hank concept from Purdue. And again, 
it's really instructive when you watch Dejean. Watch him take his drop here and look at his eyes the entire way through. He disappears from the screen a little bit. And he's going to wind up with an interception here that he's going to run back almost for another pick six. But when we go back and run it again, we'll pause it. Look at his eyes. He's got his eyes to the quarterback the entire time. And again, that's one of the benefits of zone coverage. And it maximizes one of his strengths, which is his anticipation skills. Again, right here, his eyes are firmly uh, rooted on the quarterback. And he's watching the routes develop. And as these routes develop... Very, very quickly, he's going to diagnose. And look at this. He's breaking on the flat throw right here already. Rather than just having a big cushion and carrying what's inevitably going to be a curl route and, and, ba and bailing and, and being 15 yards deep, he's, he's got enough speed. This is a guy who ran 4-4 four, four flat in the 40. He's got enough speed to trust that he can squat a little bit on this curl as it comes back. And in doing so, then he can now anticipate the throw, break on it, and obviously good things happen, right, once he's got the football in his hands. Very, very dangerous with the ball in his hands. Here's kind of a zoomed-in view just of DeGene and the outside receiver. This is the receiver running the curl route. So, again, you're going to see him burst up and then kind of plant there. And then you're going to see this flat route emerge from underneath. But look at the eyes, right? As he gets his depth, he's got his eyes back. He's dual reading the quarterback and the number two route. So, obviously, he's got deep third responsibility here, but he's allowing his, his speed and the fact that he trusts himself to be able to run with the outside receiver here, to be able to be a little more patient, squat a little bit, read that inside route development. There he breaks on it. Bad throw by the quarterback, obviously. But his anticipation is really what makes this play. So the big knock on DeGene and the thing that may keep some teams from drafting him is going to be whether or not he can play man. And that really gets us to the question of, well, where might he land in the draft? Because it's going to be a matter of scheme fit. So the Indianapolis Colts, who pick at 15th in the first round, are said to be very high on him. The Eagles love him. They pick at 22. I don't know if he'll last that long. Again, man-heavy teams like the Steelers, who are said to have had some interest, may be scared off by the fact that he is not billed as a, an elite man cover corner and many teams see him perhaps as a strong safety a guy who will be able to with his big physical build play a little bit more on the inside or down in the box but add in his special teams prowess and this is a guy uh, who's going to be a dangerous NFL player and is expected to go somewhere in the middle of the first round all right that's Kevin Smith with another call sheet breakdown of Iowa defensive back Cooper DeGene and we'll be back with more Later this week, take care, everybody.